these few days you will not be disappointed. We have a covenant with God concerning this event. Many years ago it was an encounter and God spoke about the festival of glory. An occasion to reveal Jesus. And during the course of the few days that we'll be standing out here, Jesus will be revealed in his glory and his splendor. I welcome you to Festival of Glory 2020. A lot of logistics has gone into this event. We apologize just in case we did not meet your expectation. But Jesus will be glorified here. Hallelujah. You may be seated briefly. Festival of Glory is about the revelation of Jesus. There is an individual that our generation must know. This individual is the beauty of heaven. And God, in an act of his love, released him to humanity. And all men must know this act of grace and love that God has done. And Jesus must be revealed uniquely to every generation. Just in case you came with your Bible, I would like to invite you to turn to the book of Luke chapter 2 quickly as I perform a function and bring up the man of God. We will have two ministers this night that will come to the platform and bring the dividends of grace to you. Meanwhile, turn to the book of Luke chapter 2. From verse 25, the Bible says, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon. And the same was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. The Bible reveals that God will do nothing upon the face of the earth except he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. So in every generation, God has men that he keeps his secrets with. God must unveil the policy that is upon his heart which we, he intends to implement in the earth. He must unveil such a policy to men, men such prophets that are yet in active service. They are privileged to receive the secrets that are upon the heart of God. This was one of such times where God visited Simeon and because of the revelation he shared with him, death had to turn backward from him. The power of death was no longer active around him because he had received a visitation from God and that visitation was, it culminated in a secret that God unveiled and as long as his heart kept that secret, death could not take him. 
And in the fullness of time, when the prophetic word matured, he came into the temple at just the right time. He was not invited. It was not a Facebook invitation he saw. It was not a WhatsApp flyer. He came into the temple by the Spirit and the thing that he had kept secret for a long, long time, the day for him to unveil it had come. It was obvious he was tired of life. His mates had died. But as long as he kept secret what God revealed to him, death turned backward any time it looked upon him. So he came into the temple by the Spirit and he began to unveil things about the child. Festival of glory is about the unveiling of Jesus. Anytime Jesus is veiled, a civilization begins to die and darkness begins to take the center stage. We need men like Simeon that can, can reveal Jesus. And that's what this celebration is about. We have ministers of the gospel that are saddled with the responsibility of revealing Jesus to a generation facing severe crisis in the earth. What we need is a revelation of Jesus. And when Simeon came into the temple, the Bible says he blessed God and said, let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of all people then he began to reveal Jesus according to the prophecy of Simeon Jesus was that light that will lighten the Gentiles the Gentiles have no hope of light except Jesus the light that will lighten the Gentiles. The people that are fraternized with darkness. The people that take instructions from the devil. Culture built by the wisdom of demons. Such people are under a canopy of civilization that is entrapped in the demonic dimension. What they need is a taste of light and it is a rise of Jesus that will bring light to the Gentiles when Jesus is unveiled he has diverse manifestations to different people and I welcome you to the festival this year because in the course of this festival Jesus will be unveiled and many eyes will behold him. He will come like light sometimes to, to, to all undo darkness. He can come like a miracle walker to manifest himself as the healer, the breaker of yokes. And he can come in, 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 in white garment as a sanctifier, the purifier of silver and gold. So that his people can offer unto him an offering. In righteousness if there is anybody that must be revealed it is Jesus and so we have set up this stage so that heaven will be opportune to unveil the great monarch of Zion the beauty of the heavenly that he might touch down the city of Makodi and excavate everything that the kingdom of darkness has set in motion, that are buried in the land, that has made the land to be dry. A light to lighten the Gentiles, he said, and the glory of thy people, Israel. So tonight, he that dwells in the midst of the cherubims, he will shine forth. Can you sing that song with me just one more time? In the midst of the cherubim, shine forth. <laughs> he that dwells 
in the midst of the cherubim shine forth he that dwells he that dwells in the midst of the cherubim shine forth without wasting your time I want to bring the first minister he will minister in the word and then will bring a prophet then he will minister by the spirit